Hey, so today I'm going to be starting uh, a new series on my channel and it's going to be pretty much the basics of candidating all the way up to, to more advanced things. So if you're a beginner, uh, watch these videos because this will pretty much teach you everything there is about candidating and why things have developed they have to, to what they are today. So this has been, you know, test. This this is pretty much a development of like years of canoning, uh, and and it'll, it'll help you see why things are better. So on this uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about boosters. So what boosters do is they boost all the power into one block, and uh, why you would want to do that, right, is because it's it's better to have all seven so I'm, I'm gonna so this is seven power it's, it's better to have all of your seven pretend this is 17 t compacted into one block than it is to have it spread out like this and I'll show you so this is seven uh, dispensers uh, and you'll see it goes to about you can't really see it but it goes to about that TNT and this is also seven dispensers but if I have it closer then it will shoot to Let's see. It'll shoot to around this TNT. So the reason why is because, you know, obviously everything's closer, so it has more exposure. And if you think about it, like if you have this one piece of TNT trying to shoot this, it won't go well, you know. So that's why you want everything as close as it can be. So let's go over different types of boosters. So this is like, you know, when dispensers were first made, this is like a you know simple simple booster uh, you can see this trap door for all of them is the farthest it can go so uh, this is you know not not too far it's a couple blocks this one has a little bit more booster and you can see it'll go one one block farther which again isn't good it's not efficient it's good I guess if you're making a small cannon and you don't need that much power then it's you know TNT efficient so but if you're trying to make like a a big power like some of those over there that's not a good solution at all so um, this uh, was developed later so instead of having I mean there are there are obviously other other methods but these are the big ones so what happens in, in this method is you have your you have a piece of TNT dispensed here then one redstone tick later you have one dispensed here and then your normal power so let me just you so what, what will happen is this will blow up first right and it'll push this all the power till about this block and it'll push this second part to around here and then this second part which is now here will blow up pushing all of it to the trap door so I'll show you as you can see you hear dispense at different times and then it's all getting pushed to that because there are two two main pulses you have like one around here and or sorry one here and then one around here and there are plenty of other ways to boost but these are you know like I said the most commonly used ones so this one is almost the same as that except instead of two different powers it's three so you have one here one redstone tick later you have one here and then this one you can do one or two it doesn't really matter um, most people do too, so two redstone ticks later you have that one. And essentially it'll do the same exact thing as I showed. Um, it just has three powers, so I'll show you it here. And it can boost farther than this one. Decent amount farther. As you can see. Um, so, uh, let's go to, this is uh, something that, I don't know when it was up. Two years ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, this is called an infinite booster, and pretty much why you want an infinite booster is because, as as you'll see later, you can build bigger powers and you can go for speed, which we're not going to talk about in this video. This is just about boosters, but you can make faster cannons with infinite boosters. So let me show you what happens. So you have this power go off first, okay? Let me go inside the cannon. So you have this power go off first, or be dispensed first, and then you have this. 
and then you have your main power all across here. So what will happen is this will blow up, and it'll blow this stuff over here, plus a little bit of this. And then this part will blow up, and it'll blow it all the way to here. So um, how you build it is you kind of offset it so you have your, like you, like you can see, you have your stuff here, and then your main power is being dispensed one block over. So let me show you it firing. So this isn't the best range, but you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. So you can see it's a little bit offset and it's boosting it over to there. So this is with one more row. And by the way, you can add like, you can do rows of lines of, th or uh, groups of three at a time. You can do groups stacked on top of each other. There are a bunch of different methods that you can do to, to do infinite boosters, but I usually do four. Um, that's just how I prefer it. But this is the same thing, except it'll have, it has, you have this one, then you have this one, and then you have this one. And I'll show you the back so you can see how it's wired. So as you can see, you have this part, and then it connects through this, from powered blocks, it, it goes to this repeater, and it powers this, and then another repeater later, it powers this. And it can go a lot farther than that one. And the reason why it's called an infinite booster is because theoretically, if you have all of your power um, wired up, you can make these infinite long. You can add infinite amounts of um, booster. Like, look, this one's a three. Same principle. You just, you know, you uh, add another um, redstone repeater and uh, separating each of these groups. And you can go even farther. All right. And the reason what you, why you want this is because you can see you can build a bigger and bigger power every time you go farther. And you, you can end up with powers like these, right? And this is just with another one. This is with four. And it goes all the way to there. So, that's like a, a rundown of, of different boosters you can use and how they're practical. So, right now... If you're, if you're building a big cannon, obviously infinite boosters are going to be the best because you can fit the most power in, like, the most efficiently. And you can also do it with speed. Uh, this is also good too if you're not going for speed. You know, you can still fit a, a decent amount on without going through the hassle of having to build an infinite booster. So this is definitely a very good option. Um, you can also build these if you're going for smaller cannons. So, what well, all these are about is just making the easiest... Uh, boost or the easiest booster for what cannon you're trying to make. So another thing I want to show is I want to I want to compare these two, you know, to show you why this one is better. See, this booster has more TNT, and let's see how far it goes. It has more TNT than that one over there. All right, we see that some of it made it to here, but some of it also got stuck here. So now let's do it with this method. You can see everything made it here, no problem. So that's why uh, that's just showing you that um, just because this one has more TNT doesn't mean it can shoot farther. Um, and here are some for the last part of the video to wrap it up. Here are some practical things. So you can use all these for power, right? But you can also use it for um, for hammers. So an example, this is just this will be this is just a booster, right? Because and an old old uh, barrels and stuff you would boost everything to a piston which would be then pushed out you know can't this these cans are still used but not as common so if I show you this won't work because it's just one tiny booster oh wait oh that's the first step. okay anyway um yeah it, it's not it's not a long a long travel path but it does work you know, so if you want to add a little bit more, um, you know, this is a little bit longer. What I did was I delayed these by one right here. So you have, so you have this repeater delaying that one and that one by one redstone tick. So let's fire it and you can see we can go a little bit longer. Let's 
there. And then this is like the other example that I showed where you have the the three things, you know, and you have it separated by two ticks here. And this is an even longer power hammer. This isn't how you would design a 255, but this is the amount of power that you would use. You wouldn't shoot out of this barrel. Um, I can do a, a tutorial on that um, another time, but. So as you can see, it, it pushed off in three um, pulses and it, it made it all the way to here. Uh, you can also use infinite boosters for your hammer, except we're not going to go into that because you pretty much just have to copy your power and just adjust it to as much TNT as you need for your hammer. But it's the same design as your as your power. And you can just push it all into a box similarly to this. The reason why you wouldn't really use it on like a cannon like this is because it's kind of unnecessary. You can, because these cannons usually aren't going for speed, but if you are going for speed, go ahead. Use an infinite booster, and I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. We'll, we'll start building bigger cannons together. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so, this is this is just like a, a basic explanation of why you need boosters. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to show you guys boosters. Uh, in another video, I'll show you sank, or, yeah, sank comps. So, from old, uh, not unreusable combo ones where you had to quick pulse to carpet comps and I'll show you um, all sorts of things and then eventually we'll we'll get up to APs and nukes and you know all the all the stuff that people are using now so uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you want me to talk about a certain topic I have a bunch planned uh, next I'm going to show uh, TNT properties and you know how, how TNT mechanics work with triangles and and different guiders you can use but um, so yeah let me know uh, what you want to see and uh, leave a comment uh, telling me what you think about this series and I'll talk to you all later